Hi people, Dan from Devil and Sons of Guitars here and today I'm going to talk to you about something tangential to good guitars. I'm going to show you how to do something when you're stuck at home in isolation staring at those boring cupboards and drawers. Today I'm going to show you how to make guitar volume control drawer knobs. I recently put up some photos on Instagram of my workshop including these drawers with volume and tone control knobs on them. They're really easy to make and lots of people are asking me how I made them. So this video is going to focus on that. I've used Fender controls. You can use a whole range. I've also, towards the end of the video, got a little short moment on how I've made them using some leftover bits from the Millennium Falcon bass guitars I made a while ago. So using something that's Star Wars themed. Great. So here are the tools that I'm using in my workshop in order to make the draw knobs for my doors and drawers. Now, you might not need all of this because Unlike my workshop, your drawers might all be the same thickness. I've got quite a few different drawers and cupboards and they're different thicknesses. So what I've got is bolts that are too long that I can then cut down with my hacksaw. If you know exactly how long everything is needs to be, you can buy the right size bolts in the first place. These are M6 bolts, M6 nuts that go with it, and M6 plastic spacers. These spacers are 10 millimeters wide. I'll show you what they're for in a minute. I've also got, I just happen to have loads of volume and tone controls anyway for the customization and building of guitars that I do, but you can buy them in sets. So normally you buy three in a set. If you go on eBay or Amazon, I'll put some links below. You can find these quite often in bulk, so they're much cheaper. To fit on a pot, they've got a hole in the back, which happens to be exactly the right size for an M6 bolt to screw into. Perfect. I've got a six millimeter drill bit on my drill ready to drill these holes for the bolts to go through the drawers. I've got my ruler, pen and a nail, which we'll get to in a moment, which I'm using to measure some things out with. And just to help me when I screw it together on the drawers, although sometimes I can do it by hand, I do have a screwdriver with a screwdriver bit that matches the end of the bolts and a spanner which I can hold the nuts with when I'm tightening things. So here we go with a drawer, it's my drawer of inks. I brought it over to my workshop bench. At the front is where the knob's gonna go. Obviously if the knob went straight on like that, it'd be quite hard to grip. I thought it'd be better to have it a distance away so I've got more of a grip to pull it, which is why I've got this one centimeter, 10 millimeter spacer. Now if you put the spacer right behind the knob, it actually disappears inside because the knob's got a sort of recess in it. So what's gonna happen is the nut's gonna go between the spacer and the knob so that when you put it on the drawer, there's a certain thickness there that allows it a bit of space for you to get your fingers behind when you're pulling it out. Now, if I just give you a quick example, the bolt will go through here, then this will go on, then it will screw in place against the drawer, and then this will go on top. So you need this length between the back of the spacer and the head of the bolt to be the width of the drawer. And as you can see, this is too big. As I said, I bought them all too big so I can cut them to fit. Let's work out how big that actually needs to be. I've got a nail there, a bolt, uh, sorry, a nut and a spacer. I'm just gonna simply put this on top. So that'll be where the nut is. That'll be where the spacer will be. I'm gonna put my nail through it so it touches the end of the volume knob. So this is now the length of the bolt that would be inside there. Then I'm going to get my pen and just mark there. Then all I need to do is measure from the tip of the nail to that line. It's two centimeters, just over two centimeters. So essentially I need my bolts to be a length that equals the width of the drawer plus two centimeters. Now my drawer already has a mark on it where it originally had a drawer knob. I'm going to drill with my six millimeter drill bit into there. So the six millimeter hole now is the right size for the M6 bolt, which I'll push through from the other side like that. Now I can mark with my red pen exactly where the bolt comes out of the front of the drawer 
and then measure from that mark the two centimeters that I need to go inside the volume control which is going to be the knob. So now I know I need to cut my bolt here. Of course if all your drawers are the same size you would have bought your bolts in the correct size in the first place. So here I've put my bolt into my vise. I've got some cardboard here just to help clamp it. The bolt is only very slightly in the vise. It's going to be quite hard to cut. I'm going to do it um, maybe in not the best pose but the pose for the camera and I'll speed it up. So here I've got the bolt where it's been cut. You can see the end has a little lip on it. So I'm going to have to file that down just to help the nut go on it. Great, so I'll put the bolt through the back of the drawer. Check there's no bits of wood sticking through. Put the spacer on, then the nut. If you've cut your bolt like mine, it might be a bit tricky to get the nut on. And you might need to just quickly file around the edge of the top of the, the bolt. Then I've got my spanner to hold the nut in place. Again, a bit awkward on the camera. My drill screwdriver, sorry, behind. And then I can tighten it. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be as tight as that. You could do it by hand. Then I'm going to just take the volume control and screw that on. And what's happening is the end of the bolt is just screwing into the plastic, making its own thread. I'll turn it around just so you see volume the right way around. And that's it done. And now the drawer's ready to slide back into place. Now you could do this with any type of control knob because they're all going to have the same size thread on them because they're made to go over the same pot. So a Gibson top hat, a speed dial. I like these chrome ones, um, chicken knob. And then I've got this one with a gem on the top of it. So for the Star Wars handles, I'm using the hollow chess or Dejeric tables from the Millennium Falcons that I converted into Rebel bases a few years ago. And simply, they've got a bigger hole than the volume controls, volume knobs, and the M6 nut fits perfectly in it. So what I did is put a nut in, had it a bit of an angle, and then just turned it over to, to push it down. And once it's in place, the bolt just screws in. So that will simply go through the door or drawer, and it can screw all the way down. It's got this length to go in. So actually these long bolts are quite good, but it doesn't have to be a long one. It could only go in a little bit and it'll be tight enough. If you wanted, you could put a bit of glue around the nut before you put the bolt in and let that dry a bit of epoxy or a bit of super glue ca glue just to hold it tight this one could just go through like this and screw straight on there we go Now, if you're watching this at the time this video goes out, you may well be stuck at home with coronavirus or in isolation or lockdown and looking for things to do other than practice the guitar. Although, why you'd be looking for things to do other than practice the guitar, I don't know. But hopefully this video gives you some inspiration. It'll be great to see your knobs. And by that, I mean the knob handles that you've made, either by putting something in the description of this video or tagging me somewhere in Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. It'd be great to see your creations. <laughs>